want an easy way to get around and leave your car at home, then why not give the new Forest Tour a try? I'm going to hop on board and see what it's like. It runs an hourly service every day during the summer months, and just one ticket will allow you to hop on and off both routes. You can buy your tickets on the tour or online, and you'll also receive a complimentary guide, which has lots of useful information about what there is to see and do. I've always loved riding around London on the top level of a double-decker, so today I'm heading straight upstairs to get the best view. There's an informative audio commentary on the tour, which tells you about all the secrets of this magical place and I loved seeing how the countryside changed from heath to coastline and then forest in just a few short miles. Although it's called the New Forest, it is in fact anything but new. It got its name around 1079 in William the Conqueror's time. But the forest's history stretches back further. It was once known by the Saxon name Itan, meaning land of the Jutes. In 2005, it became a national park in recognition of its outstanding natural beauty, wildlife, and cultural heritage, and the opportunities it gives for people to enjoy it. I decided to make my first stop at Bewley, which is home to the National Motor Museum, and has a fantastic collection of cars from film and TV, including Harry Potter, James Bond, and Top Gear. With your guide, you'll get one of these, a brand new forest discount card, which entitles you to lots of offers at local businesses, such as places to eat and brilliant attractions like this one. There's so much to see at Bewley that I could probably have spent the whole day there, but I wanted to get over to Exbury Gardens, which has a rare and exotic collection of flowers and trees. Best of all, your bus ticket entitles you to a free ride on their miniature steam railway, the Rhododendron Line. All aboard! Next stop was the village of Lyndhurst, known as the capital of the New Forest. From the top deck you can see how vast the National Park is, over 218 square miles, and the tour makes a great vantage point for spotting some of the local wildlife including rare breed cattle, donkeys and of course the iconic New Forest ponies that this area is so famous for. You don't have to spend the whole day riding the bus either. Your ticket allows you to hop on and off whenever you like throughout the day and plenty of walkers and cyclists use it to join up with the miles of waymarked cycle trails and footpaths throughout the New Forest National Park. So here in Lyndhurst you can hop over onto the Red Route and carry on exploring the north of the National Park. But for me, it's time to head back to Brockenhurst. The New Forest Tour has made it so easy to explore this rich and varied national park. So if you want to beat the crowds and leave your car behind, I can't think of a better way to get around.